Ride and shine, everybody, and welcome to episode three of the Call Sam Chopper Shop. Today we're diving into the next chapter of our Detroit Lions build. There's no doubt this bike is gonna turn heads with its stunning new paint job, but we're not done yet. Every detail matters when you're building a custom chopper, and we won't rest until this plain old bike achieves gridiron glory. Today, a few more of our talented friends bring their skills to this project. Watching these masters of their craft in action never gets old. Dave's design for the Lions bike included a seat covered in football material. Since Jerry Alexander did such a bang up job in season two, we're back at his shop in St. Clair Shores. Jerry's old world skills are matched only by his generosity. When he found out that the seat he made last time was for a motorcycle being raffled to benefit veterans, he donated it. He's doing the same this year. Thanks, Jerry. Jerry's assistant, John, starts by tracing templates made from pieces of the deconstructed original seat. Now I'm just notching it, putting all these notches in, and then I'll do the same on this one. Then we go to sew them together, these will all line up. With sheer focus, he cuts them out one by one then gives them to Jerry at the machine. Jerry has been in the biz his entire life and it shows. He chooses to use a top stitch for sewing together the panels because it will hold up better against wear and tear on the road. It's back to John for the rest of the process. He stretches the material over the structure and staples it in place. Then he steams it to remove any remaining wrinkles. Check it out. Now that's what I call a custom throne for your end zone. Meanwhile, over at Boss Fab, also in St. Clair Shores, another familiar face is hard at work crafting custom components for the chopper. Once again, David's turned to Mike Prezondic, the maestro of metalwork, the alchemist of aluminum, to create a shift linkage, timing cover, and derby cover. Mike's also experimenting with custom fender emblems to add a little more grit to the build. All right, so all of my parts start as a solid chunk of 6061 aluminum, and uh, this would be a blank for a shift linkage. I uh, brand the backside with my logo, I drill and tap the ends, and then I attach them to a fixture, and then when I machine them, I machine all the material away, leaving the raised engraving that you see here. Oh, say can you see and see. Each piece is meticulously designed and crafted to add a touch of high octane attitude to every motorcycle it graces. He starts by loading a 3D design into the computer. The design is interpreted as code, which the computer uses to drill, mill, contour, and cut. The ballet begins and the machine gracefully dances across the blank, carving away at a speed of 4,500 RPMs. Mike inspects each piece for accuracy. The finish is only as good as the fit. Jerry's seat and Mike's parts are finally ready to join forces with Rob's tank and saddlebags. Without Alexander's Boss Fab and Paddock's paintworks, the bike could never come to life. It shows that our Detroit Lions motorcycle is more than a symbol of team spirit. It's a beacon of support for veterans. The craftspeople who work on it are more than collaborators. They are amongst the biggest supporters of those who served. Paint. Check. New seat, check. Custom engraving, check. Mark, we're definitely heading into the end zone. We sure are, but we need help scoring a touchdown. Remember, we're raising money to help vets in Metro Detroit, and every raffle ticket you buy gets us a little closer, so grab your tickets at callsam.com. Tune in next time to see Dave and John complete the transition from Road King to King of the Road. Thanks for watching.